are living in a third reconstruction. Um, I don't, so I don't know where you guys were for inauguration, but in New York, seriously, you know, in New York, inauguration felt like a funeral. Yeah. It felt like a funeral. And remember, I've been in New York all my life. I was there for 9-11, and I know what it feels like when a city is mourning. Uh, an, or an inauguration in New York City really felt like a funeral. We were mourning over a country we might have had, a future we could have been building, a president we could have been welcoming. Uh, but for me, you know, there was, for me, there was one good thing about what happened on November 8th. That on November 8th, when 65 million Americans decided to vote for a reality television star with no legislative experience, there was one good thing that came about, about that. And that was America finally told the truth. Right. America told the truth. Right? America told the truth about the way it feels about Muslims. It told the truth about the way it feels about Jews. It told the truth about the way it feels about women. America told the truth. America told the truth about how it feels about immigrants' rights, how it feels about a woman's rights to choose. America told the truth. And so we've got to give it credit that it was an ugly truth, but it was a truth nonetheless, right? And I come from a tradition that says truth, even ugly truth, is always the precondition of transformation. And so it's important to remember that on November 8th, America told, told the truth. And it, when it made clear, America finally made it clear that all lives didn't matter, right? Because in that voting booth, all lives didn't matter. Let's be clear. Because if all lives matter, then you couldn't have been voting for a candidate who had openly declared war on some lives. Right? right? So America told the truth. And so the question is, now that America's told the truth, where do we go from here? That's the organizing question.